Understanding the relationship between muscle and bone in women 30 to 55 years old. Overview of the lifetime of muscle and bone cycles. Bones are rigid organs that constitute the skeleton, whose main role is to protect the various organs of the body and store minerals. 99% of calcium in the body is integrated in the structure of our bones and teeth, totaling 1 to 1.2 kilograms. The skeleton must be seen as a dynamic organ that is constantly renewed and balanced between synthesis by cells called osteoblasts and resorption by cells called osteoclasts. It is so dynamic that the whole skeleton is renewed three to four times during a lifetime. A peak of bone mass is attained starting at around the age of 20 to 25 years old. Later, bones are restructured and a little decrease of bone mass occurs. Later on, at the menopause stage, a 3 to 5% decrease of bone mass occurs that may be extended further and lead to osteoporosis. Muscles come in three types, each with its own cell morphology. Skeletal muscles, such as those found in the legs, are under voluntary control. Smooth muscle, such as in the stomach, is under involuntary control, as is the third type, cardiac muscle. Within the scope of this review, we will specifically focus on the regulation of skeletal muscle mass. Renewal of muscle mass is also high in our organism and very rapid in our bodies. If you want, we can say that between October and December, you will have a completely renewed your muscle, as 50 to 60 days is the time period of the muscle cycle, and considering protein synthesis of functional muscle overturns from 1 to 2% per day. With aging, people lose around 5% of their muscle every year from 25 to 60 years old, and this rate doubles after the age of 60. This loss of muscle mass represents around 30% between the ages of 30 to 60 years old and results in a decrease in quality of life, loss of functionality, and increased risk of anabolic decrease. There are more than 20 proteins present in muscle tissues. The stimulation of two of these proteins, actin and myosin, causes them to slide towards one another and contracting the fibers. Muscles and Bones Interrelations The Benefit of Improving Muscle Strength and Function for Bones Functional muscle has been shown to play a crucial role in the development of skeletal cartilage, bone joints, and tendons at every stage of life. A growing body of evidence suggests that muscle contraction is a determinant in cartilage and bone formation. Studies have shown that both in paralyzed chicks and mice, various cartilaginous skeletal elements were shorter and bones were smaller. Similarly, in the absence of muscle contraction, multiple joint fusions of the skeleton's vertebrates, for example, were observed which obviously has a direct effect on the mobility of the organism. Muscle contraction also regulates the shape of the bone cross section circumferential shape and consequently optimizes their load-bearing capacity during development. Finally, reduced loading impairs the tendon fibers organization. Maintenance of muscle mass and strength during aging. Mechanical forces play a major role, not only during development, but also in skeletal maintenance and age-related diseases. Rapid bone loss, which was demonstrated by various skeletal unloading models and observed in astronauts, is associated with sarcopenia. The decrease of muscle and bone masses are tightly controlled by various mechanisms, including sex hormones, which were shown to simulate bone formation and inhibit bone resorption. To date, treatments of bone loss have focused more on hormonal replacements. However, mechanical stimulation may compensate for the hormonal reduction and induce bone formation. Physical activity must therefore be practiced to maintain muscle mass and reduce prevalence of sarcopenia linked to osteoporosis. However, one must also consider that excessive load increases fracture risk, especially in elderly individuals. 
Role of nutrition. Combined with physical activity, nutritional intervention may reduce bone and muscle loss. Ingestion of protein will reduce muscle loss and incidences of sarcopenia, whereas ingestion of calcium and vitamin D will maintain maintenance of bone mass and avoid osteoporosis. It can be noticed that the effect of protein intake on muscle protein accretion can be stimulated by prior exercise training. Conclusion Which window for action? Finally, muscle mass and contraction are crucial in the development of a healthy skeleton, joints, and tendons. They also have a role during aging in that mechanical load may compensate for hormonal reduction. Prevention is the optimal treatment to reverse age-related bone and muscle loss. Since sarcopenia muscle loss may occur by the time we hit middle age, physical activity should be practiced to manufacture lean tissue. Also, protein intake should be optimal in terms of quality and quantity in adults and increase in the elderly as compared to adults. In addition, a good supply of vitamin D is needed as vitamin D has a positive influence on muscles. Bone health is also dependent on mineralization. Bone mass reduces slowly from 25 to 50 years old and more rapidly in women at menopause. In order to maintain bone mass at a high level of mineralization, dairy products, which contain both vitamin D and proteins, should be consumed.